Inside Story Uganda. Real source of political update. Ah, katutandike omukuku navuka tandike na kalobozi kana. Ogenda kwambala. And I you have to push my trust in the people that are really doing the work. So we have greater challenges ahead of us and you all know that. Uh, my friend Frank, I know, uh, it is uh, closing in and uh, a lot of trouble seems to be boiling and just about to explode. So I'm looking between the lines. I'm trying to to analyze between the lines and see the, the, the best procedure you can ever take that can help us rescue uh, the entire fellowship. It is becoming a bit of a headache. And even when we fail, as I know there can still be a chance to, to recall those that are really troubled. And uh, thinking from the prosecutor's side, the, 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 there is a lot of vagueness. Now, looking at the prosecutor's side, we need a lot of resources to dilute even the gist of the matter that they really have. So, which means there is a lot of effort and we are running from the advantageous side. So that simply means uh, that uh, there are many things that need to be put in place and the first is going to be the money, the mobilization to have one um, one tone, one rhythm, and the similar lines. We should not have conflicting lines. Hmm? And it is all of that should be directed or directly proportional to the evidence they have. You get it so that we can dilute it fully just to ensure that everybody goes away scot free. So that is what the bigger challenge is. Now, this uh, outdoor meeting, actually, I really wanted the, everybody to have their phones away. Because when you look at the place at which the Marim Rund operates, it is uh, it's becoming more serious and uh, more efficient than even ever before. But, but excuse me, sir, what I'm looking at right now is uh, we should not uh, now look at Tamari. Because Tamare is not working alone. Tamare is, is now an adventurous outfit that really aims at destroying what they call a diabolical fellowship that not only looks at having financial investments, but also uh, political lenses that, that are trying to focus. Um, a, 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 a larger and a more fruitful political career. So if we, are, if we are to limit all of that, I think we are going to be limiting ourselves. I don't want to, to take Tamarim Rund off this scope because it's not seated and is not working alone. The protection is getting is really not him alone. It, it, it crosses the boundaries. Yeah, you are very right. Yeah, that one I know. And they were really very right. But uh, I think first the things first, we are looking at uh, taking our, our targets, uh, ourselves off the targets of the prosecutor. That is what I think. Well, you are very right. You are very right, really. But uh, you see, in your submission, you said that uh, when you look at what exactly the prosecutor is basing on, there is a lot of vagueness hmm, in, the, in the evidence. And if we are talking about Tamare, Tamare is reinforcing the prosecutor's evidence so to pin us better. That is what I'm looking at. Those are the reasons I'm trying to use, uh, sir. And it is really what I think should make a lot of sense if we are going to fight this battle. Well, I think you are very right on that. Uh, but sometimes uh, the technicalities uh, are also very important to think about. 
The first thing is uh, uh, there are certain things we, we should really respect. Currently, Tamara Mirund is not operating around, and at least our investigators have revealed so much. When you see Baramu around, you know the team he works with. Hmm? There are so many other people he works with, and of course that also means the, the blessing of the principal. So, what do we have to do? Things that simply requires money, and the killing of any possible evidences that could be anywhere. Well, I support you on that. Yes, that is what I'm also talking about. So should you think? Think bigger, and think better. All right. So, can, can I suggest something? Please do, because uh, we don't have to remain entrapped in, in the whole thing. So, we, th there was some kind of idea. I think, uh, I know uh, a, a gentleman like Barugahare. Eh? Barugahare is a uh, person you can uh, basically talk to. And he understands the most of his options are either about political dominance and uh, political dominance and the money. So, if there is any conversation you can think about and it's all about the money, I think you can have, you can put his attention. So, can't we really use a person like him to see that we can compromise the attitude of Tamale and call it at least to become either docile? Because so, so far, what I believe, the, the final conclusion is that Tamare can never be our friend. That one is clear. But can't we really try to calm him down and uh, cool him off so he can think about also doing some investment elsewhere? This is just a suggestion I'm happy. Well, that, is a, that would be a good one. But they already failed the attempts, and we have really tried those tactics a long time ago. Hmm? But when he, even when he gets to know, because there are certain things we discussed, and you, you wake up and you hear recorded tape on the radio or on, on the YouTube channel, but this guy, he's, he never changes. So currently, Tamara Mirunda actually is blaming us that we have been dangling money as a method to, 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 to build a bait so we can have him surrender his steps and all of that. That has been the normal talk he, 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 he says of the things. But what I'm looking at really is, uh, is uh, we never done what the money. If he was a person very straightforward to tell you that if you give me money, I give up the option, innocent person would get that money and hand it over. But a person who is waiting for your money and the same person is waiting to harm you even harder, how can you think about giving them the money? So that is where my own my, the, the, the challenge comes from. So you can no longer talk about the money until the money says, at least you will send an emissary to people like, like Sam Kutesa, to people like, I mean, there, there are several people. Eh, Tamari could talk to and Andrei like he would say that you see if you give me the money I will destroy this but the man who says that you give me the money but I will not destroy anything I'll keep my face it, it can only take an insane person to listen to such a, to, to such a thing and actually do it so that is why my whole problem arose and that is it well actually you, you are really very right and a certain person would do, would do think that you see a man who does not come out straight to tell you that I will never do this until you have done this is a complicated person. Or a person who does not put clear boundaries to a deal, that is an old deal already. And it is what is, it has been happening really. But, uh, and, and I think that could be that Mr. Tamarez is short for if he does not elaborate, identify his position, then it becomes a not deal actually. How the person will do the same? So that is where we are. So currently speaking, 
we've had it to, to have a middle ground. We've had to have a middle ground. Uh, so, we, we looked uh, uh, north, south, east, and west, and we failed to get a middle ground. I know he's out there complaining and has been sending so many messages to Sam. Trying to tell him how we are playing him, how we are doing that. But he's the one playing us actually. He played us for too long. He wants somebody to invest even if it were 10 million shillings. You can't say that you give me that because I'm annoyed. Then after I take that money, I keep my anger. But I will never forgive you. Then what is the reason to give you the 10 million in the first place? Hmm? Keep your anger, keep your vendetta, and then leave me with the money. I do whatever I want to do with it. As long as your words are not going to kill me, I can use that same money to liberate myself in another way. So that is the whole thing. So simply, I, I believe Tamara simply failed to, to, to clearly identify his zone of operation. No, you cannot uh, have your cake and eat it. You should have to think of a better way out. But it really didn't work out and uh, whatever blame is casting on us, it should be his problem. This is a problem right there. So for us, what I'm looking at is how we're going to wrestle and uh, fight for anyone. I know some of you are very worried, but let me tell you, through challenges, we become brave. Through bravery, we make heroes. I believe everything is human -ly. It is the human is in charge of this, and it is the human beings involved. And the way a human being is, we have a common interest, and that is life. And what makes life and makes sense these days is money. But it is all about how you package it and deliver it. So, we can win in this case. I know according to what Amarino Mare says, he has other options to lead his life. It is okay. We can let him do his work. We respect it. Even the president respects him for that. But that is super arrogance. And yet it is the same person who is casting the arrogance on our side. It will not work. It will not work. We shall always resort to other ways. There is no way to give you better welfare when you are not saying you're, you're going to, to, to lay down your weapons. No, there is no way. If you say we are sworn enemies and we are fighting, and then you want me to give you more power in terms of weapons, but you are not telling me that we are going to become allies or that we are not, we are not going to sign a pact hmm, of non-interference, then what good is it for me to give you the power? And no rational person would see it not so really. Look, not today. What you're saying is very right.